All right. All right. So thanks for being here tonight for Team Forever Strong's third week of Coach Basics in the month of December. It's December 20th. Christmas is right around the corner. And thanks for showing up on the call. I know that you're probably super busy getting everything ready, all the final touches, wrapping, you know, shopping. I'm still wrapping all my stuff. So I appreciate you hopping on tonight so that you can hear the call with us tonight. All right. So I am going to dive right into tonight. We're going to be touching on the three, well, actually the four vital behaviors now. There used to be three, but now there's four. And I'm going to be going through each one specifically. And if you have any questions about each of those things, make sure to stop me and just let me know. Because these are the four things that really do grow your business. And it just sounds so like, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm beating a dead horse with these things, <laughs> but they really are the four things that build your business. And um, I, you know, I say it all the time, like they're so simple to do, but they're also easy not to do. But the people who choose to, you know, show up and do them every day are the ones who will go on to, you know, build successful businesses that will lead to residual income and be able to create that, you know, lifetime of freedom that you're hoping to seek out. And it just takes time and it just takes patience. But as long as you're showing up and doing something, that's awesome. And just being here on the call, you know, considering this is the third call of the month and there's only one more after this, you know, that says a lot too, because you're in the group, you're engaged, you're, you know, you're reading the posts, you're soaking it all up and then you're applying it and then you're on the call. So that just shows that you are serious and it's been proven too. And I've seen it over the past two and a half years um, while running these coach basics groups, the coaches that do go into the groups and are participating and show up on the calls, those are the ones who end up sticking it out through the long haul, who end up growing to be successful coaches, you know, down the road and have big teams. And it's just awesome. So we're going to dive right into the vital behavior. So I wanted to go over this four of them. Um, and the first one, and I'm going to go through each of them really quickly and then kind of talk more about them in detail. But the first one is invite, invite, invite. The second one is be proof the product works. The third one is personal development. And then the fourth one, this is a newer one, probably like past six months they came up with this, is recognition. And so these are really the foundation for your business being a success. And I remember when I first became a coach, I was like, what the heck are all these things? Like, I don't even understand what these things mean. But I remember Keith Callahan and Elizabeth Harkey, they're in our upline. And if you are not following them on Facebook, you should definitely follow them because they've built incredible businesses. They are extremely successful coaches. Um, and, you know, when you are hearing advice from other successful coaches or leaders in the network and you want to be where they are, you don't question it. You just do it. <laughs> and so that's what happened with me. I remember hearing I was in a coach basics just like you guys. And I remember hearing Keith Callahan say these, th these things. And I'm like, gosh, they sound so easy. Like this sounds so simple. And he said the same thing that I said at the beginning of this call, that they are simple, that this business is so simple. And what's hard is being self-disciplined enough to sit down and actually do them every single day, especially now with Christmas, you know, is right up on top of us. It's easy to put things on the back burner, but I'm telling you, you can't put your business on the back burner. Whether you're in this for a hobby or you want to turn this thing into a six-figure income earning business and a legit full-time career like I do now, you cannot put it on the back burner. And it doesn't mean that you have to show up and go crazy balls to the wall every single day. You know, when life gets in the way and there's Christmas around the corner like this and you're busy, that's okay. But you still show up and you do something that's going to help bring you one step closer to where you want to be. That's all that matters. It's not the kind of job or the kind of business where you can kind of do it just on the weekends or do it here and do it there. You have to show up and do something every single day. So the first um, vital behavior that we're going to go over is invite, invite, invite. And this one, honestly, is this is the one that will build your business. They all do, but this is the one. This is the one that will do it. This is the most important one out of them all, which is probably why it's number one, because this business is a relationship building business. And if you're not behind the scenes in private messages, talking to people and inviting them to be a part of our challenge groups, 
then you won't build a business because even if you're posting on social media at the beginning, you, you do have to do that. But even if you're doing that, people don't come to you because people sit back and watch you for a good three to six months because they want to see if you're dead serious about this. So that's the statistic. Most people will sit back and watch you for a good three to six months to see if you're serious, to see if you're credible, to see if you're someone that they, that's reliable that they can go to before they actually pull the trigger and go to you and then sign up to be a part of one of the groups or sign up to become a coach. So we can't rely on our posts on social media to build our business at the beginning. It is a, it is a big part and it is a key part to growing your business, but we have to work mostly off of the behind the scenes stuff over time. If you're consistent with your two to three posts every day on social media, people will come to you. You'll be able to hit success club every single month from just your posts on social media because people will know you as like the reliable, credible coach who they want to go to when they're looking for help with their health or fitness. And it's a beautiful thing when that happens, but it takes time and it takes consistency and patience. So at the beginning, invite, invite, invite. And that's how I built my business in one year to a six figure income business, which is very aggressive. <laughs> I worked a lot every night on it. I didn't just do your hour and you can do whatever is, whatever is going to be good for you and your goals and your family life, what you have going on. Uh, but it was all behind the scenes. And basically we recommend for new coaches um, that you invite three to five people every single day to be a part of your challenge group. So to be a part of our 21 day fix challenge group or to be a part of our quarter force challenge group, you always want to invite them to our actual challenge groups that consist of the Shakeology and the workout program first. Then after you talk to them, if they can't make it work because of money and whatever, who knows what their excuse is going to be or what their reason is going to be, then you can tell them about our free month support group that we have going on because we do want to always have something that we can offer to someone. So you want to make sure that your three to five people, like a direct, explicit, bold, invite to our challenge group. Um, you know, and so you want to be specific and clear and you want to keep it brief, but three to five people every day. Now, if you want to do more than that, <laughs> do more than that. When I first became a coach because of the situation that we were in and I was pretty much desperate and I might back up against the wall and didn't want to go back to work and have to leave my kids. When people told me invite three to five people, whatever that number was, I did like quadruple that amount. So I'm not saying that you need to do that. I'm just saying it can be whatever you want it to be, but the bare minimum um, is three to five invites every single day. So you're going to do that every single day. And what I do is I keep a running list of everybody who likes any of my posts on social media. So I don't care if it's about family, my dog, a vacation, you know, something about the team, a recipe. I write all the names down. Because those are people who are watching me. They're seeing everything I'm posting. So I will personally invite them to a challenge group. Um, and so you're going to want to make sure that you're doing that every single day. Don't miss a day. If you want to hit, I figured out, we figured out the numbers for it. Your goal every single month should obviously be Success Club 5 minimum. So that's three people that you are helping get started on their health and fitness journey. And we figured it out numbers wise. If you want to hit Success Club 5 every single month or this month, that boils down to you basically sending out five invites every single day, like religiously. So if you do that every day, then you will hit Success Club 5. Now, if you're looking to hit Success Club 10, it's the same thing, except you're going to be doing 10 private messages invites to a challenge group every single day. And so always remember too, guys, you're not going to hear back from people on that first invite, especially with Christmas right around the corner. This is the toughest month of the year for people because their health and fitness and their goals are on the back burner right now until they get through Christmas. But come December 26th and come January 1st, they are going to want to do something like they're going to be like enough is enough. New Year's resolutions 
here we go. So it's important still that you keep inviting because those are all seeds that you're planting. So you don't want to be like, you don't want to have the attitude of like, oh, Christmas is around the corner. No one wants to hear from me right now. They're not going to get back to me anyways. You know, they're just going to ignore it, whatever, yada, yada, yada. Because then if you have that attitude, come December 26th or January 1st, they're going to go to another coach who's actually doing the inviting and showing up. So you have to do it anyways. Because then that way you will be in the back of their mind when they are ready to make that change. They will know to go to Rachel or they will know to go to Kathy. You know, they're going to know to go to these people and that's what we want. We want to be out there in front of as many people as possible because January is the biggest month of the year and it all depends on the groundwork that you lay in December right now. <clears throat> so make sure you're inviting Make sure that you're doing your follow-ups. So I always, you know, I went over the follow-ups the last time, but, you know, it's definitely the first invite, three follow-ups after that, then write their name down for the following month. Um, so you're going to want to make sure that, that you're doing that. Part of the, you know, invite, invite, invite too. Um, like if you go into it and you just have it in the back of your mind that you're just looking to try to help someone. Like if you really believe in what you're doing <clears throat> and you really believe in what this can do for you and how it can change your life, then when you're reaching out to people, it's going to come across as really genuine. And it's not going to matter if they decide to sign up ever because you're just genuinely wanting to help them. So <clears throat> go into it like that. Go into it not thinking about success club points, not thinking about commission, not thinking about a sale. Just go into it like this is the best stuff out there. I really want this person to try it. I know they're going to love it. I know it's going to help change their life. And if they say yes, great. If not, it doesn't matter. They will say yes down the road. Trust me, they all come around. <laughs> if you can stick around long enough, you will be blown away with how many people you are inviting now that will come around down the road. All right. So it's all about when the time is right for them. So that's the best piece of advice that I can give you for inviting is that it's the most important one. This is the one that grew my business for me. Literally me sitting on my computer, just like, well, not here. I was in my house, <laughs> but me sitting down in front of the computer every single night doing nothing else, but talking to people. It's the, period. That's what's going to grow your business. It's none of this other fancy mumbo jumbo stuff that you might see if you're following other coaches who have been doing this for a while. It's not the website. It's not the um, Pinterest account. It's not Instagram. It is not the ad that you might see, a sponsored ad that you see somebody running. It is legit the behind the scenes work of talking to people. <clears throat> That's it. So if you only have time for one thing every single day, I tell all my coaches, spend it inviting and talking to people. Don't spend it trying to get together a workout video. Don't bother. Just spend it talking to people. Best advice I can give. All right. The second um, vital behavior that I want to go over is just be proof the product works. So this doesn't mean that you're at your goal weight or anything like that, or even where you want to be in your health and fitness journey. Um, that really is not relatable unless you've been doing this for a while and then they've seen you go from point A to point B. What it means is that you are just, you're drinking the shake every day, right? You're drinking the shake every single day. It doesn't mean that you're going to like post a selfie picture of you kiss, kissing your shakeology every day. It just means that you're drinking your shake every day. You're actually in a workout program right now, like all in as best you can be. I know with the holiday right around the corner, it's not going to be perfect. I mean, this is just realistic here, but that you're sharing about it on social media so that if somebody were to go to your wall, they would actually see that you are a health and fitness coach, that you're into health and fitness, right? So if someone goes to your wall and looks at your post and they say they can't tell that you're even doing a workout program, then that just means that you need to get more consistent with posting about that. So you want to be sharing it. You want to be sharing, you know, a picture, a, um, a quick video if you can do it. I mean, you don't want to spend all day and night on this kind of stuff. Um, just, it's more important to just get the content up than to make it look pretty. Um, just get it up there so people know that you're, you're working on your health and fitness. Like she's in. It's the holiday season. I'm shoving cookies down my face and drinking mudslides, and she's doing this. Okay, well, come January 1st, I need to go to this girl. <laughs> so this is really what people start to think. So 
um, you know, even if you're eating cookies at night, post your workout during the day. <laughs> so you just want to share that every day. It just means that it's showing people that you are working on you. That's it. It doesn't need to be perfect. You don't need to have abs, okay, or anything crazy like that. It just, you just want to show people that, listen, you know, it's, a, it's, it's crazy over here. The holidays are right around the corner. I'm pressing play anyways, all right, because I have goals that I'm working towards, and I have end-of-year goals that I'm making for myself. I'm going to continue them into the new year, but I'm going to press play now, and then I'm going to go and finish wrapping gifts. Right? Yeah, you just want to, like, be relatable to people. Do you know what I mean? So share that every single day and definitely make sure you're getting in your shake because if you're in and out and you're not drinking it every day, you're not going to feel the full effects of it. You're not going to feel awesome. You're not going to feel like you're on cloud nine and, and been amazing. And you're not going to have that confidence and you're not going to really think that the $140 investment is worth it when you're private messaging people and inviting them to it because how could you if you're not doing it yourself every day? So you need to do that every day. Um, the third, um, I'm totally drawing a blinker now, vital behavior. <laughs> the third vital behavior is personal development. And this, guys, is seriously so important. It really is. Um, I, when I first became a coach, I didn't do it for the first six months because I was so busy behind the scenes, private messaging and talking to people and inviting and hitting success club but I just felt like, oh, I don't need it. I'm doing good. I'm hitting high success club numbers. I'm bringing on active coaches. I'm building my team. I don't need it. And then that only gets you so far. And then you plateau. And you need to constantly be working on personal self-growth. So that way you can help others become better too. And you can inspire them. And you can you know, instill that motivation into people to want them to become the best version of themselves. So now what I do to avoid all that is when I go to sit down to do my work every single night, I do my 10 to 15 minutes of reading every night. So figure out what's going to work for you. A lot of people will listen to a podcast or they'll do audible in the car or when they're folding laundry, they'll listen to it in the background. Um, what I did before was when I was doing my workouts, like once I like really knew my workouts and it was like the 21 day fix, I'd done it like 10 times. <laughs> I would just shut the volume off. And I would listen to, you know, my audible and I'd listen to the book that I was reading, um, in the background and I'd get it in that way, but just make sure that you're getting it in and make sure that it's either the compound effect or, um, the slight edge, the entrepreneur roller coaster, entrepreneur roller coaster is a really good one too for you to read next, but you definitely want to be starting with one of those two because it will lay out It'll teach you patience <laughs> and teach you that it is the small decisions that you're choosing to make today that are going to shape the outcome of your future, really, with this. Easy to do. Oh, good. How to talk to kids. Like you. That's good, too. Excellent. Any kind of personal development <laughs> for the kids. And then make sure to also get the business one in there, too, because you definitely want to get that in there. Um, just because it will really show you, because I just feel like it's really hard for people to really understand that they are a CEO. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I just, it's a really hard concept for people, for people to grasp because we're used to going in and working for somebody else every day. And we're used to having somebody else tell us what to do. And with this, you got to be a self starter. You know, you got to be willing to go out there and find answers for yourself and be a self-starter and be motivated and self-driven and self-disciplined. And, you know, people can't give that to you. So those books really do teach just about how these small, little, simple decisions, like these vital behaviors every day, how the people who do them will go on to build successful businesses, while the people who are inconsistent with them are going to have inconsistent results in their business. And same thing with health and fitness. Let me look at this chat real quick. Yes, yeah, so you need patience. I mean, I'm talking, I mean, this is like a legit business, like full on. Like I tell everybody, cause I'm not going to candy coat it. Be here a year from today. If you can seriously be here a year from today and not just a year from today, like I'm here, I'm on the calls and I'm posting on social media. I'm talking like a year from today, a year of showing up every day, doing these vital behaviors, inviting 
following up, hitting success club month after month after month after month in one year, you would never, ever, ever even think about quitting this. You would never. It would not even cross your mind because you would be, are going to be in such a totally different spot that you wouldn't even imagine it. But you have to give it time. So a lot of people are like, oh, I'm going to give it three months. Like you can't give it three months. It's a business. <laughs> like nothing, you know what I mean? So, and everything is like a ripple effect and it's a, um, and now I'm, I'm drawing a blank, but it's a delayed response business. That's what I was looking for. A delayed response business. So everybody is, is really quick to be like instant gratification. Like, but I'm putting in the work now, but I'm not seeing anything happen. Well, it's a delayed response business, just like the results with your health and fitness. You're showing up, doing the work. You're not going to look any different tomorrow you're not going to drop 15 pounds and be at your goal weight tomorrow but if you can show up every day over time you'll get to where you want to be so it's the same thing with building a business and i always say just pretend that you literally took out like a half a million dollar loan to open up a restaurant you know but it cost of investment for this business is so low that's why people don't treat it like a business but that $140 that you spent on your challenge pack can turn into a six to seven figure income over time. If you treat this like a business. So, um, keep showing up, keep doing those things. And then the last, um, vital behavior is recognition. So what this means is, is everybody wants to be recognized. Everybody wants to hear when they've done great things or when they've achieved a goal, they want to get that pat on the back. It lets them know that they're doing the right thing. It gives them that boost of confidence. So if you have any challengers, this can go two ways. If you have anybody in a challenge group who you've already signed up to get started on their health and fitness journey, you want to make sure you stay in close contact with that person and make sure that they're drinking their shake, make sure that they're doing their workout, making sure to let them know that <clears throat> you're here to help them. Like, how's the meal plan going? You don't want to ever just sign somebody up and then walk away. So you want to stay in close contact and then when you get good feedback from them or you see that they've, you know, lost two pounds or they're, they're down a pant size or just anything, give them a shout out in the challenge group that you're in or give them a shout out, um, on, on your wall and tag them. And be like, I'm so excited. Like, this is one of the reasons why I love this business. My friend here who I helped already is seeing results. Like, this is amazing. I love this. She feels great. Blah, blah, blah. You want to give that recognition. So it works for your challengers, the people who you're signing up to get started on their health and fitness journey. And then when you do go on to sign up and get like your first coach and to start to form your team, the same thing. You want to recognize them for any little thing that they do. A post that they make that's great on, on social media. Um, it could be, you know, they sign up their first person, give them a shout out on the team page. You really want to go above and beyond to give people that extra recognition, especially when they first get started. So those are the four vital behaviors that I just went over. And, you know, they're easy to do, easy not to do, but if you can choose to do them and choose to show up every day and do them, they can do amazing things for your business. So um, if there's any questions, you can go ahead and you can unmute yourself or you can type it in the chat and I will get back to you with that. Um, otherwise, I wanted to end with this really quick thing. When we all come into this business, right, or just whenever you're starting something new for the first time, you have this big vision and you have this big goal of where you want to be, right? So you're constantly thinking of that end result of where you want to be or what you want your life to look like, what you want your health and fitness goals to be. But just imagine that you are going to, you know, build a house for the first time, right? If you were to do that, and if you were to look at the template for this huge house that you had to make, or this big mansion, you would get so overwhelmed, and you'd get so defeated, and you'd feel like, I don't think I can do this. The self-doubt would start to creep in. But if you just keep your head down, and you did a little bit to work on that house every day, if you showed up and you did just a little bit, you know, you started with the foundation. You did a little bit every day. Then you started with the siding and you started with the insulation and then you moved to the insulation and you do it like that. Eventually, when you look out, you'll have this beautiful house that you've made. But if you look at the whole picture of where you want to be compared to where you are now, 
it's too much. So take it day by day and just choose to show up every day and lay that groundwork. Do something that's going to move you closer to where you want to be. And just no matter what happens, no matter how busy you are, no matter what life throws you, no matter how discouraged you are, focus on what's going right and focus on the things that you're doing well. Focus on the people that you are helping and just don't stop. <laughs> just do it every day, no matter what. You might not work as hard as you do on some other days, but you're going to show up anyways and you're going to do it anyways because it's that important to you. And mark my word, if you can do that in one year from now, one year from now of actively showing up in this business, you will be in a completely different place and you will be so proud of yourself and you will be on such a high from all the people that you've helped over the course of this year because your success in this business is a direct reflection between the amount of lives that you've helped over time. That's all it is. So if you can focus on showing up and doing something and helping someone every day, you'll do amazing things. So are there any questions? Do you have any questions, Rachel, before I let you go? All right. Well, I hope that you have an awesome Christmas, and I will see you next time, guys. Bye.